Three, two, one. Welcome to Hoops R Us, the best podcast ever. Welcome to season six of Hoops R Us. Man, six seasons, bro. Six this is crazy. wild. That's wild. And so we, do, we are we do, on. Like, we do like what two seasons per NBA season or something yeah, like at the All Star think... break. We split yeah. up. So this is the this is the third NBA season we've been doing this. Also, we are doing video. This is <laughs> wild. I mean, I never even thought of like doing a video podcast, you know? Like yeah, I thought it was just always going to be on Spotify. Yeah, I mean, this is why like we, we sent out our little teaser. And, and this is dope because, I mean, there's going to be so much happening in the NBA. And we're going to be able to kind of give those reactions, have a little more dialogue. So it's going to be cool because... People can still listen to the podcast. We're still going to have those going out on Spotify, on uh, Apple Podcasts. But if you want to watch the interaction, then you can hop onto YouTube. We're going to have some YouTube shorts. We'll have the full episode on video. And we'll have some highlights as well. So it's going to be dope. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun season. Yeah, I think this season is going to be like the prime season of where it all just starts. You know, like not starts, but like the prime season, the top season of the ball. That's it. Hey, man, listen, let's just have fun with it. You know, let's roll with it and let's have fun. But we're going to make sure we deliver a good episode, take you guys around the league in terms of what's happening, you know, the latest news. You're going to have some reaction. You're going to have father versus son all the time because we always disagree on everything. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right. So let's get started, bro. So we have Mitch. We have missed so much. It's insane. This offseason was so bananas. I think it all started with, like, what, yeah. the Brooklyn Nets and all their drama with Kevin Durant? The KD situation was a little, like, wild. That's That was so unnecessary by him, especially if, like, they weren't even going to end up trading him, which is pretty smart. I mean, he's technically, hey, like, he could demand it all he wants, but he, it ain't going to happen. They, so the Nets are the first team that stood up against the superstar. They're the first team mean? because every other team, like when Paul George demanded a trade, he got traded. When, you know, whoever demands a trade, they get traded. When Anthony Davis demanded a trade, he got traded. Like, that's like the thing that these superstars do. Kevin Durant went up there and said, I demand the trade. And they were like, okay, what's your point? You're on contract. You figure it out. <laughs> that was, that was a little while. And they were pretty close to trading him. Like, I'm pretty sure like the Warriors, you know, mm-hmm. we could have got, we could have snagged him. I bet you would have been happy. <laughs> yeah, like, it was, I thought he was going to get traded, bro, if I'm being honest with you. I was just waiting I did too. every day. Yeah, because honestly, like, every superstar that has demanded it, they always get traded. So I already thought it, they were going to make it happen. But, but What were the main teams? It was, like, the Raptors. Uh, I think the Cavs were thinking of it until they got Don. Oh, until they got Donovan Mitchell, which is insane. <laughs> Speaking of like, offseason moves, that's probably yeah. the biggest one, in my opinion. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell. Oh, that's the, the, there's I another think that's the big one. one. Yeah, but I think the Donovan Mitchell one makes him a, a legitimate contender. I think that they were missing that, you know, end of the shot clock creator. So, you know, I, I think I think that was kind of the missing piece to take him to the next level. And the, the best part is for the Cavs, it doesn't need to happen now. Like, they're, they're kind of building for the future. It's not like they're all leaving after a year or they're getting guys that are, like, in their prime. Mitchell's young, you know? Garland yeah. is young. Um, Allen is young. So they have a, a, a legitimate core that they can build around. True. So, spe- so the Jazz, why, I mean, why would they do this, though? That was, <laughs> like, insane. And, Jazz, full rebuild. Re- 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 rebuild mode out there. Because they also... Got rid of Rudy Gobert, bro. Wow. They traded for him, too. Not no free agent. Like, oh, we lost him. But we, they traded him. Traded them both. I don't even know who they got. What they got? They got a got bunch of draft jazz, picks. The Jazz got, like, Colin Sexton. Oh, uh, I like Lori him. Markinen, That's it. And probably, like, a couple of picks. I mean, I like Sexton. Uh, Sexton is legit. I think he's going to be a that really was for good the guard Mitchell this one. And then, yeah. I'm not sure what happened with the Timberwolves. That was just a mess. I mean, the Timberwolves are, I mean, listen, 
T Wolves look good. Twin as well. Towers, the Twin yeah. Towers now. <laughs> and 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 Ro- Gobert brings the defense, and he's not obligated to score anymore. I feel like in the Jazz, they needed him to score. It was like, who's going to help out Mitchell? Oh my Whoa. God, this and that. Yeah. yeah, you know. I mean, yeah, they had a couple pieces. They had um, what's his name? Uh, Conley. Conley, yeah, they had Conley out there, but I, still, I think Rudy Gobert was like, "Listen, bro, we need twenty and twenty, and that's not who he is." So I think with with Cat, Cat's gonna handle the scoring. Anthony Edwards handles the scoring. D'Lo, Anthony Edwards, you know, D'Lo. they have a squad. They they don't need him to score. They need him to just play defense and get yourself ten points, and that's more than enough. Oh wait, I said Mike Conley was in the Timberwolves. I meant Jazz. I got confused. Jazz, Jazz, you know, yeah, but but that's who who they had before, you know, and they oh, yeah. just they still needed Gobert to do some scoring. So I don't know. You know, and then we got Beverly went over to the Lakers. You know, so there's your Bev. new there's your new leader right there. So for those that don't know, I'm I'm a Lakers fan, and I am not a LeBron fan. So we'll get into that later. But this is yet another one of those moves that don't even make sense to me. Like, why did we go and get Patrick Beverly? Patrick Beverly, in my opinion, is not that good. Also, before we move on, like, uh, we will still post episodes on spotify it's not just going to be the video on youtube if you cannot access youtube just say just say yeah yeah no i, yeah, I mentioned that earlier you know yeah. but uh I, I think again the lakers have so much drama we'll get into that let's just finish with kind of all these um off-season moves and then get into some of what's going on in, in, in la la land <laughs> yeah so the lakers i mean that's another defender i guess i mean another brick shooter Bro, their moving best on. shooter, their best moving shooter, LeBron James. <laughs> moving on, That's... Christian Wood, Christian Wood to the Mavs. Oh, I mean, we got plenty of time to talk Lakers. Oh, 0 for boy. three. Sorry, 0 for three. 0 for three. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, Christian Wood, what do we think of that? Great for Luca. That's great. And they, I mean, they I mean, they lost Brunson. They lost Brunson, which is another move to the Knicks. Christian Wood is like really good though. Like they needed that. Big man, hopefully he doesn't turn into like Porzingis and does like bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, hopefully that team is not like his downfall. But he's pretty young. Uh, I think he has potential. We'll see, right? <laughs> I, I would agree. I think that's a good move. Um, the Hawks revamped. That was another big move, no. actually. That, mm, nah, still Mitchell, but the Jonte Murray. That's big, yo. Murray Murray had a great season. He was an all star. He had a great season over there with the uh, with the Spurs. He killed it, man. I mean, I don't know, but he's also a guard that had to have the ball in his hands. And you have Wait, Trey over are, there. What are the Spurs doing? Why? I have no idea. The Spurs, bro. The Spurs have given up. Think about it. Since the why? Since the Tim Duncan days, the Spurs have given up Kawhi. They've now given up uh, Murray. They gave Demar- up. Uh, DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan. Like, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Pop is just like, you know what? I'm having a, a yard sale <laughs> before I retire. And like, you're not helping Pop. Pop can't, a coach can't carry a team. I'm just saying that right now. Like, I don't understand. I guess he, they just haven't been to the level of what he likes. And I don't know. Cause he makes those moves, dude. Trust me. Pop is so involved in that team. That's He's true, the one making yeah. those moves. So, what do you mean? I don't like, know. The He's the one moves? that makes it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. If he says, listen, I don't want this guy here. Get me this. Get me that. They're like, whatever you say, Pop. Like, he's mean, got that level of respect in that franchise. Wow, you think so? How about Steve Kerr? Oh, I Kerr? know so. I know so. Uh, Steve Kerr the, Steve Kerr walked into a great situation. I, I think um, I mm-hmm. think Pop kind of helped build it, you know? But Steve Kerr walked into a pretty good situation. And how about, like, Phil Jackson? Phil Jackson, I mean... <laughs> Remember, like the players were more powerful than the coaches in those scenarios, right? So with Steve Kerr, yeah, like, like Curry's the man, you know. With Jackson, he had Kobe, he had Shaq, like Michael you Jordan, know, shoot. MJ. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I think the um, the players have more control there, but Pop has always had like the main control in the uh, in the Spurs. Yeah, you know. So the other uh, one is um, John Wall. John Wall. I like that. I mean, it. It. I mean, depends on what John Wall you get, right? <laughs> I, I don't know what John uh, Wall they're getting. I like the Reggie Jackson guy, though. Yeah, I like, but Reggie Jackson's still there. I, still, though, I, I, I don't want another. Like, 
Yeah, you do. Reggie Listen, Jackson you, you could was, never have enough guards, bro. Like if if one of them I, becomes, I wouldn't their want Lou like Williams, another like guard taking over this guy who did a lot. He like they did a lot for the Clippers. I mean, dude, he carried them into playing. But who's to say like, he's not still that guy? He's on the bench now. That's why he's still. That's why he's not that guy. But, but I Kawhi's think it's, back. I, Paul George think, is back. But there you go. You it's just difficult. said it right there, bro. They don't need another scorer. They okay, have Kawhi, I think, George. I think Reggie Jackson will help because of how, like, he knows the team as well. So, like, I don't know. A John Wall is so, like, shaky to me. I don't know. I don't know, but I see it as, like, in that starting five, John Wall's role is not to get 20 points. You know what I mean? His role is, like, bro, get, like, eight assists. You know, score, like, you mm-hmm. know, nine, 12 points and call it a day. But Reggie Jackson's role it's still the same role as what he had last year because think about it. Last year is, is like if he was playing with the bench because they didn't have Kawhi. They barely had George here and there. You know, so when he comes into the game, it's like, bro, don't change anything. Be you and take over. So they're I trying guess. to get that Lou Williams effect. I think that's what they're trying to go for because that that is a winning – that's winning basketball. If your six men is, is that good, that, that they, could, they could make moves, man. Yeah. Speaking of a six man, Malcolm Brogdon to the Celtics. Ooh. Um, that, I thought he was the starting point guard, but I guess not. I mean, I, I like that move. You know why? Because it's such an underrated move, and they're already a championship team. They made it to the finals, and he's a legitimate good guard. I think he's better than Marcus Smart. Like, And to me, it's not even close. Yeah, he is. He is. Like, but like Marcus now- Smart is like the, the – to me, he falls into that – in between Draymond Green and Patrick Beverly. Mind you, he like, he, a lot of defense. He, he was defensive player of the year, all that he, jazz. He didn't lead them, but he kind of he played a big role to that championship team last year. I agree. Which is why he started. I, I mean, agree. his defense just was amazing. There you go. I think that's why I, I wouldn't say they made it because of him. You know, he did the work, but like, yo. He was a big piece for them because he would always guard that, you know, that superstar guard, though. Like, yeah, you had Jalen Brown for the, the other Warriors were smoking him, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, he didn't look like no defensive player of the year. He yeah, couldn't guard you. Curry. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone could guard Curry, if I'm being honest with you. I, I mean, not that version of Curry. Curry has been sus in the past, you know, but Would that version that? of Curry, you want to go there? <laughs> yes, let's go there, as a matter of fact. Well, you got something wrong with Curry or something? Bro, Steph Curry was sus in the finals in his whole lifetime before this NBA finals. Like, Steph Curry was always on some, I might score 30, I might score 12. If you guys chase me off the three-point line, Bro, he I might not like know what to do. In no, 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 no. no. So don't give me those garbage minute points because Curry will put up like 10 points, 12 points whoa, in garbage whoa, wait, time when wait, it was wait, over. Wait. 34, he averaged like 34 points in that 2018 with KD. Without KD, he couldn't get the job done. Still averaged his 30. 2017, yeah, he averaged like 26, 28 probably. 2015 was his only all finals, which he still could have won the finals MVP. Oh, yeah, you need a, you know, what was it? Oh, you need an Iguadala. <laughs> Look, LeBron dropped 40 on him, and he, he was worthless. Yeah, no, he was not worthless. When he dro- came into that lineup, you guys actually started winning games in the finals. So We did. All right. I think we still, yeah, all right. we still could but, figure out something. But listen, that's when you guys realize, and Draymond Green said it too on his podcast. He said that's when we realized we were not going to be able to beat LeBron, and that's when y- well, y'all went out and got KD. And then it was like, all right, we're back in business. No, I think 2016 was the year that we said, yo, we can't beat these guys. We need KD. I think you know, 26, when we blew that 3-1. You know what? You know what matchup I would have loved to see? I would have loved to see those Warriors with KD against the Miami LeBron teams. I would say Curry and KD. What? I think yeah. Miami would have beat that team. The the LeBron. Here's my thing: like when KD came, Clay still pretty young. Curry is in his prime. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about LeBron that came team, to yeah. Miami. When LeBron came to Miami, like the they way, were all way in their prime. The, nah nah. 
the way Wade was like getting older as so, well. So whatever. So then I'll take that same matchup. I'll take Chris the KD. Bosch was also regressing. Like I don't think they were. When they won those championships, bro, they were there, man. Like they, LeBron, I think they were man, in the prime. LeBron reached his highest ceiling that year, those years. Well, speaking of ceilings, I mean, what what is it? The ceiling is the roof, like Michael Jordan used to say. Uh, yeah. The Lakers are looking terrible, and LeBron is over here blaming people since Game One. He's already been blaming, like you know, we got we no blame. shooters. We oh, we, we over here. We we yeah. we got no shooters around. Like, bro, it's the first game. What you didn't know this in the off season? Like, you built this team. Here's the thing, and, and I'm not a fan of Stephen A. But sometimes he says things that actually click and make sense. So Stephen wow. A came, came on the air, how? yeah, and he actually said the person to blame is LeBron. Like, why do you think we don't have, you know, Caruso? And and why don't we have Pope? And why don't we have Kuzma? Two of those guys were traded for Russell Westbrook, who's his boy. And he thought, oh, if I could do this whole Miami thing again with superstars, we're good money. Didn't work. Yeah, but like... And then the same month, because, Russell because Westbrook we're paying... was going to be good, actually. Bro, though. because we're paying Westbrook so much money, then we couldn't even sign Caruso. So here we are, scrapping over here. We couldn't even sign Rondo, I think. Here we are with, like, a skeleton AD, crew. AD sent all those guys away as well. Like, no, no, lot. no. But, but, but AD was for Lonzo Ball and those guys. Like, that trade was good because you got oh, talent, okay, okay, talent. Okay, okay, okay. But the Westbrook trade didn't make sense. Like, LeBron, your whole career, bro, you've been surrounded by shooters. The Mike Millers of the world. You know, the, the even Kevin Love, Mike, Kyrie. Uh, uh, bro, Mike Miller, he, he, I think he even had, um, what's his name? Kyle uh, Korver at one point. Yeah. Like he's always had shooters around him so that he can do his drive, do his thing, and then kick it out. Now he wants to be the shooter. He wants to shoot no, he half, doesn't want half court to. shots. No, no, oh, no, he, he wants to. Want oh, he to. wants to. It's that he the Lakers to. can't find a shooter, and you guys are not smart enough to actually know what you guys are missing, which is no. Oh, We know shooter. what we're missing, but GM LeBron wanted his boy for $40 million a year, and now your boy can't even shoot. We all knew that Russell Westbrook couldn't shoot. And he presented he didn't know that because he thought, oh, but I'm gonna become a shooter, and Russell Russell can just go and drop 20, 30. Can't score, Shoot. you know. You got that LeBron over here taking half court shot air balls. Like it's like, bruh. I don't know. I I mean, that, that you, was my first. Let me LA, ask you a question. Oh, oh that, that was my Lakers rant of the season. That's the first. I can't believe it. This is an episode not, one already. Let me ask you a question, and not knowing what would have happened with Russell Westbrook, would you rather have? Kuzma, those guys, without knowing that Russell Westbrook is gonna do trash, for like, who would you rather have, Westbrook so, or those guys? Because t- right, so, me personally, so, even though he's not a shooter, he still his name he's, he's was name. pretty big. He's a name. He's a name. So here's so my. Opinion. I would still rather want Westbrook because of that reason. Like, bro, so, he's Russell Westbrook. Yeah, but my opinion is, we won a championship, right? The Lakers won a championship. When you win a championship, you got to try to keep that that roster intact. Just try to keep yeah. that same roster because people like Kuzma, like Pope, they're just going to get better. It's not like they're old guys. They're actually fairly young. So they either get better or you keep building through free agency. Like people like Rondo, those guys got old, right? Like Rondo was an older guy. Fine. Yeah. You, go, you go and you find the Rondo replacement. But if you lose three, like two to three of your starting five, bro. You just won a championship. Like, what are you doing? Like, Rondo was starting in the finals. Pope was starting in the finals. And Kuzma was coming off the bench as a sixth man. You just lost all three of those guys. And you just won a championship. Like, why would you break up what worked? I mean, listen, I know that that AD keeps getting injured. But you can't predict injury. Because AD right now is still part of the plan. So you can't tell me that Westbrook was put in here assuming that AD was going to be injured all the time. Now, AD is so fragile, though, bro. It's insane. And I it's think crazy. a lot of people knew that before he even went to the Lakers. It's insane. Like I said, I mean, and not only that, I mean, Russell Westbrook has got drama going on right now. He's, he might be coming off the bench. You got Patrick Beverly starting over him. I mean, he just got injured, so he's out mm-hmm. already. He's getting booed. He's over here going. I think he went 0 for 11 one of these games. And so the question's Patrick already Beverly, starting. Bro, like, Patrick Beverly's pretty trash, bro. Beverly, Beverly's prime was when he was in the Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets, yeah. That's the Beverly that was like, he'll make well, like... I like, I like the Clippers one a little. The Clippers one started doing too many antics. It reminded me of his... Antics? 
like a lot too much flopping around, too much noise, too much talking crap. At least in Houston, he could back it up because in Houston, like he could do his thing. He was able to score a little bit. Like he would drop like a little 10, 12 points and he was a little stronger, a little quicker. Now it's like, bro, now he's trying to live off his name and his reputation. So I don't know. Patrick Beverly has always been a complicated guy. I mean, he's a guy who has fought with like everyone in the league, bro. Yeah, listen, don't get me wrong. At the end, at the same time, though, he's a good defensive leader. Yeah. You know, he tries to lead the team defensively, and you know, but guys like AD <laughs> and, and LeBron, uh -huh. they, they're not trying to play no defense, man, unless they get to the playoffs. You know. Yeah. So wait, I want to ask you this. I think we should do because it's a new season. Let's do like the top five in each position. Top five players in each position. All right. Go for it. What you got? So, I'll start off with centers. All right. Okay. Also, it has to be like, so, Carl Anthony Towns is going to be a power forward because of Rudy Gobert, right? So, right, so he would be counted as a power forward. Gotcha. So, give, got me, give, me, give me the top centers. All right. Top centers. I got Jokic, Embiid, Anthony Davis, Bam and Rudy. No disagreements here. I think um, one more healthy season of Embiid, he can go to that next level. But now with um, with Harden in there, I think Jokic is unstoppable. Though. Yeah, Jokic keeps getting better too. You know what? I agree with that list. Uh, I'm surprised that AD is even third. I think he's got to like be healthy and let's see what happens. Yeah. You so, know, but I agree with that. What do you got at power forward? Giannis, obviously. Yeah. Cat, Zion, Siakam, Draymond. Oh, stop it. <laughs> yeah, stop Draymond. it. Draymond Green is like not top five in his like he might he should be the backup. Who's the other power forward, you guys? Wiseman should be starting over over Draymond. Wiseman's not power forward, he's the center. Who's the other power forward? What other power forward? Give me him, Kaminka or whatever. Nope. Give me that give me that guy. He's not even starting over here. Bro, Draymond. Be honest. Be, that, be honest with me. Who's a better power forward? Um, of those guys you just mentioned, I would pick Mobley over Draymond any day of the week. I would pick, you know, I mean, I don't know who else to put in there, but Draymond. Then. I would put Christian Wood. Where's Christian Wood? He's a center this year. Uh, all right, if you say so. Yeah, uh, bro. Draymond is not. Draymond he's, sucks. Dude, he's top five, Draymond bro. sucks. Draymond is not getting he, resigned, bro. He's not top five in his neighborhood anymore. Bro, I still think he is top five. Because there's not that much power forward in the league, bro. No, it's not even that. It's like, let me let me see his stats. So, I got Mobley with like 15, 8, and 2. Draymond. Then I got Draymond, 7, 7, and 7. He did have better stats, Mobley. All right, I'll, I'll you say. Might have I a mean, you might have a point with Mobley. I wasn't thinking of him. And and none of these rookies are like up to like. Um, no, no, stop. Let's wait to see what those rookies could even fine, do. Fine, fine. Then... But like I said, Draymond don't belong in no top five of dude, nothing, dude. Hey, like he missing triple singles look, almost cost you guys the finals championship. Look, That's what he almost technically, did. Technically, he was an all star last year. <laughs> I didn't see that many power forwards in the all star list. <laughs> Other all right, than all right, the all ones right. that day before. I'm gonna I'm gonna take get off my Draymond train. How about small forward? Small forward. I got LeBron number one. KD, Ooh. Kawhi, Butler, Tatum, Bop. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> um, LeBron at one. I don't know about that. I think I give it to Durant. I think Durant's no, number dude. one. Here's I why I think. Here's why I think LeBron's better. So, how are you going to tell me that, what, the best score in the league couldn't average more points than a 37-year-old man? Who is LeBron, obviously, in this scenario. LeBron averaged, like, 30 points this season. KD averaged, like, 28, 29. Don't get me wrong, it's yeah, just by but... one. But look, I think LeBron, well, he just feels like it. When that dude says, you know what, I feel like dropping 50. He gets you that 50, my boy. I don't think KD, he could do that. I, but, I like, think... KD gets, like, injured too much. And, like, he doesn't prove it enough. And I feel like LeBron's just straight up better individually because he could also rebound and pass. KD cannot 
that's LeBron a good argument. Play. Also, I'm not that that's a good argument, but and LeBron plays defense. That boy does not. Mm, I think they're both at the point where they don't play defense unless they have to. LeBron has a couple chase down blocks. I get it. Um, KD doesn't really. He doesn't even. I know. feel. I, I think scoring wise, KD is better. I know that LeBron statistically averaged more points, but. I don't see it. I think Durant could no, still yeah, drop yeah. 50. I still think the Durant I think is LeBron better score-wise. I think LeBron has to work to get 50. I think Durant because could drop KD 50 can shoot. Yes, yeah. Right. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that LeBron could easily compete if he had felt like, if he feels like it, you know? You know what's interesting? Like he could like, do what KD's doing right now. I'm more curious about your fifth guy, so Tatum. I think Tatum is coming. I think Tatum got a taste of the finals. I think he proved in the playoffs. I mean, he choked a bit in the finals here and there, but in the playoffs, he was he was that guy. I think I he, picked you know, Butler over him because I feel like Butler's just physically, you know, like more act. I think I Butler's acting. already at his peak, bro. I think Butler's already at his peak. I think that is. Nah, Butler. I think That's maybe it. this might be the last year. But look, Jimmy Butler, bro, he could carry a team. Tatum. He has like Jalen Brown, who has to give him forty sometimes. You know who you're missing here? Where is um, where's the guy from Chicago? Uh, the Rosen. He is a shooting guard, in my opinion. Oh shoot, I don't even. You don't even got him as shooting guard. I think the Rosen's a small forward, and I would put the Rosen right now, right after Kevin Durant. I would put him ahead of Kawhi. I don't know what Kawhi is doing this year. I don't know. We got to see it. I still think Kawhi is just better because he has, well, he's Dude, physically but, better. Bro, I but mean, DeRozan was almost an MVP last year. He was in the MVP running. If he delivers that you know again. What? Let me rechange this real quick. I might say DeRozan four. Jimmy Butler five. Tatum, Tatum out? out. <coughs> yeah, Tatum out. All right, all right, all right. Well, let, hold on. Let, let's go to shooting guard real quick. So Shooting uh, guards, I got James Harden. Number one, nah. Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell, Zach Levine, Jalen Brown. I don't think Harden's number one anymore. I mean, I, I think Booker is a pure shooting guard. I give that to Booker. I'd say, I'd say Booker. No, like, I think of this year, Harden doesn't do good. Harden stuff. I'll give it to, I'll give it to Booker. I, I feel like I haven't seen Harden <laughs> since Houston. But I That's feel like the name, the name is like so big that... Yeah, but I think you're giving too much credit to the names because the name only matters maybe in the playoffs, but during the regular season, these guys like to chill a lot. You know, they don't play defense. They, they get okay, a lot of rest who, days. Who said that Devin Booker does actually play defense, bro? I'm not saying... Oh, he plays... His defense is solid. In the playoffs, right. his defense is solid. All right. You know, it's not bad. But I think Booker... I think Booker's not going to be looking for no rest days. You know what I mean? Like, he's too young. I still think Harden's just better. I mean, I mean, Harden didn't prove that last year either. Like, here's he my had an thing. Okay, season. I think Harden can dominate. He can dominate. Devin Booker, I haven't seen that season yet. I mean, he does, He's a good player. Great player. I think Devin Booker is playing but, more team basketball because he's part of a system they're trying to win. Exactly. He has Chris Paul. Harden has right. had Chris Paul. Harden <laughs> is like the Chris Paul, but you know. They, they got Maxi. I, I they think got, they got some weapons. Harden can just dominate. Like, Harden's at that level. He can dominate. And don't get me wrong, he doesn't do it often anymore. But, bro. Got Embiid. Exactly. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. So, give me, your, give me your point guards. What do we got there? I got Curry, Luka, Dame. Oh, I don't Boy, even care who's... Let me finish my list. What? Let me Your list already started list. wrong. So I don't care. Let me finish my uh, list. Who else you got? Dame, Ja, Kyrie. All right. Yep. First of all, go ahead. Um, Luca is behind Curry. Yes. What? What? Wait. Why are you so confused? What are you talking about? You think Luca Doncic is not already better than Steph Curry? No. Dude. What? No. Did you see Curry's season last year? He won a championship, but he's also in a great team. Not even. He won a championship. Three point three point record. He won all star finals and it was a it was like a great just Dude. season for Curry. Bro, 
I, don't... I think I think the torch has passed already to Luca because Luca. No, if, no, you no, sw- no, no. if you no, swap no, no. Curry for Luca in the Golden State Warriors, you guys just got KD and nope. K- and Curry nope. in one shot. Nope, nope. I think Dallas Mavericks are better. Oh my god! I think the Dallas Mavericks are easily better because Curry, what? Christian Wood. Uh, don't let me wrong, Warriors. Dude, Curry's like, got all stars around him like his whole career since Luka he started winning. Even, Luka doesn't even like fit in that team. Luka got nobody, and he can Dude, pass. He, he can rebound. He, he can shoot. Fit in. Bro, oh my god! The Warriors bro. are a team full of shooters. Luka, he can shoot, but he ain't no shooter. And he, and he could pass. I'm just saying, Curry is better, dude. Oh, my God. Dude. You got Curry ahead of Luka. Luka's a walking triple-double, bro. Here's my thing. I think <laughs> Curry is like, when he's on fire, you can't stop him. Luka, okay. when he's on fire, yeah, yeah, he's unstoppable, but, like, yo. Dude, if first you of put, all, like, a good defender on him, Luka, no. his st- if his step back, if... Luca's little step backs don't work, which is like the most craziest shot anyone, any NBA player could take, and is a bad shot for any NBA player to take. And Curry shots are good shots. Curry just jacks them up, bro. Don't get me wrong. He throws three pointers, but bro, Luca does that a step back when he's already behind the three point. I'm going to tell you this, though. That's a bad shot. These five players you just named, if any of them are hot, ain't nobody stopping them. Nobody's stopping Dame Lillard when he's hot. Nobody's stopping Jao when he's hot. Nobody's stopping Kyrie. But Luca is... All these guys are scorers. That's what they got in common. Luca's the only one that can do more than just score out of all these guys. Luca's the only one that can actually pass. He can actually rebound. And, dude... Mind you, mind you, Luca's not really a point guard. He's really... Uh, yeah, he's a, a point sh- god. That's what no, he no, is. No, 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 no. Even last year... I'm just saying he's a point guard this year because he is now. Even last year... The dude was at the two, bro. Look at his body. And who was, how, who how was a point t- guard? Jalen Brunson. Oh, God. Jalen Brunson was coming off the bench sometimes, too. Oh, he wasn't. That was Denwoody. You're going to get confused now. <laughs> Curry is better than Luka, bro. I'm telling you. How, yeah. how you not? Wow. So, really, that's it for you and Curry. Like you think? No, I, not- I think Curry's great. I think he's going to be one of the top five, ten players Look, ever. Also, Luka needs more years dominating. Curry has done this for seven years. I don't know about dominating. Curry's been in a great situation his whole career. Well, wait, wait. Curry it, it, hasn't no, dominated. C- Curry's great, but dominated is a strong word. I think they gave him the, the MVPs because he he's like the, the darling of the NBA. For seven straight years. Yeah, oh, he's going to make All Stars. Making the All Stars not everything. But as far as dominating, even his MVP seasons were like, all right, Curry's the man, but it's also pretty easy when you have a guy like Bro, Clay he was, over here in the no, other no, side. No, no. 2016 was like the craziest Curry. Luca will ever do like not nah, Luca will never do better than that season. That's like oh, the, sh- one of the best individual seasons of all time. All right. Like that's that stuff is like right behind Michael Jordan sometimes. All like, right. Bro, all right. All that right. season was insane. Behind who? Michael Jordan, bro. Yeah. You just compared Curry to Jordan? Season. No, I did not compare Curry to Jordan. I said his individual season is like behind Jordan, behind LeBron. Hold on, but what happened that season though? Hold on, that's the season that you guys won seventy two games. Exactly, you talk. Oh, to me so so when let's talk about it. So when Jordan won, what was it? Seventy? No, no, I said no. I I, I never said Curry's season was better than Jordan's though. You Jordan said it probably was as has good like, as Jordan's. No, Jordan probably has like three seasons better than Curry, like individual wise. No, but that yeah. season was Curry's best, right? And you yeah. said it was like on some Jordan level. The difference is I, I, Jordan actually won his ring. Curry didn't. All right, but he still won 73 <laughs> games, bro. He just couldn't win the four. Okay. All right, so. all, right, all right. All right. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. So, um, also, no Trey Young. What do you think of that? I like Kyrie more than Trey Young. No, nah, yeah. I don't think Trey's on this list yet. Trey, Trey got to prove it. Trey got to prove it. Yeah. He's not there yet. But uh, to wrap up, let's just uh, wrap up with the uh, conference finals prediction. So, who you got in the West? Who you got in the East? Ah. Uh, uh, I got Warriors versus. Damn, yo, this is Lakers. Yo, know, I actually think the Lakers still can have a shot at the playoffs. But at the playoffs, not at the finals. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> they suck. Western Conference Warriors versus. Damn. Ah. Uh... 
Give me Warriors versus Grizzlies, actually. What? All right. I think John ja Morant is going to go insane this year. I don't I think, think they have enough pieces around them. But Bane got better. Bane is getting Bane, better and better. He got Jackson with him. Like, he had, he makes Dylan Brooks became a name all of a sudden because of, like, bro. All right, all John right. John Morant. Right. Yeah. I give it oh. to you. I would say. And then uh, a close second, the Suns. I'm going to go Warrior. You know what? I don't think the Warriors get there again. I'm going Denver and. Uh, you know what? I am Thank going you. Warriors. Yep. I'm going Warriors because yep. I forgot Wiggins. <laughs> Because yeah, listen, buddy. I think I think I think Clay is regressing. I think Clay's going backwards. He's not getting okay. better. I think you Curry's have... not getting better. I think Wiggins is getting better, and he might be the guy to step up as the number How two. How do you expect them to get better? Clay was like in his prime, and then he got those injuries, and now he got, he's, I don't think bro, he's ever going to get there. You ever told me? Told me? Name one superstar who is still the same after a torn ACL plus a torn Achilles. I'm not even sure a superstar has ever gotten that. That's insane, bro. I'm with so, you, but which so, is why like, he's regressing. Okay, but like, bro, like you haven't technically you haven't even seen a full season of Clay Thompson as well. So right, now we right, got right. a full season to develop. All right, how about East? Let's finish with the East. Bucks versus Philly. Bucks at Philly. I say Bucks at Boston. I think Boston gets back there again. I think those two guys just got better. I oh, think Adam Brockton right. is so underrated. Like Brockton is such an underrated move. I think Boston gets back there again against the Bucks, but I think then the Bucks beat them. <laughs> uh so how about finals? I Jimmy got Bucks, Bucks and Denver. Warriors. What? Bucks Denver. Denver huh? I, I think got I even... Denver, dude. dude. I think Jokic is gonna take it to love Jamal level. Murray. I think. No, like, I, lo- I think Jokic. I think Jokic, Jokic is the difference. Jokic can carry a team to a final. But I'm with just... Murray, with Murray, Murray's I think he will. Good, and he's and, not um, the bubble Murray, bro. Hey, you don't know what he is. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I've seen him already these past three games, and he looks like a role player. All right, but listen, it's early, bro. He came back from injuries, but you know what? We'll see what happens. It's a good first episode. Also, wait, who's winning at all? I got my Warriors. Back of back. course you do. I'll, I'll save that prediction a little later, but all I don't right. see the Warriors repeating. I don't even see them making it to the finals. Wait, who do you got for MVP this season? Oh, dude, I got way too early. Who you got, Curry? No, I got Luka. Oh, like Luka, huh? I like Luka, Luka or John Morant. I think I like Luka. Yeah. I like Luca. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Again, you can catch us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Watch us on YouTube. Live also, episode. wait, 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 wait. Why are you rapping that? So look, bro, we gotta go. We, all right, all right. Also, Jesus. let me just say, you know, I can't, I, mean, I can't edit this puppy. You killed me right now. <laughs> Jesus, bro. But I thought you were gonna say like the AU. Like, no, that's why we don't I've been got so time. Eight twenty-one, dude. What time's practice? gonna be fun man first episode in this season's still early first episode with video that's gonna be epic legit and not only that um we gotta talk aau we're probably gonna have a aau coach join us in the uh, next upcoming episodes we'll probably do a a a zoom that includes a couple of guests at the same time so it's gonna be wild strap in get ready it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun ride let's get it i think the seasons are prime so Tune in. It's going to be lit, guys. Prime Peace. Peace are us. Later, guys.